Hello, my name is Ari Isaac. I'm a GIS analyst at the Port of San Diego. Um, and today is the first in a series about tasks that we have available in the Port GIS program and how to best use them. Uh, hopefully I'll do uh, one on every task slowly but surely. We'll cover them all and maybe uh, if you uh, run across a video and you see how we can uh, tweak the task in order to help to help us uh, you know, do our work better and faster and more accurately, then uh, please feel free to uh, make a suggestion. That's what this uh, Port GIS beta program is all about. Anyway, today what we're going to do is going to, we're going to talk about the what's the address, uh, no, find address task, which is a little misleading because it's not only find address, but it can also be sort of a find place like the state of California. If you type in California, you'll, you'll find California. Basically, what it does is, um, Zooming to the center of the state of California, this isn't very useful, but you ask the, this is the list of questions you can ask. These are all different questions. Uh, the find address task, and then this is the form to find the address. I think it's set up so that you can paste in information. Um, so, uh, this is, uh, but what it does is it tries to match whatever it can. So, if you have an address that doesn't make sense, but you write San Diego, California, it'll find the state, it'll find San Diego, California. So, you can, you have to watch what the result is, because see, here it suggests that it found the state of California. Um, let's go through, I have some, uh, s a few of these to show you. Let's start off with uh, an easy one that we're all familiar with. Pacific Highway, San Diego, California, 92101. Add this comma in here, find. Oh, it found it. It just didn't fully zoom to it. All right, there we go. It found our location. Um, and uh, so there we, th there's the port admin building. So it found our location there. Let's say we do, we, we take this off. Let's see if it finds it. Even if we take this off, it still found the same location. If we, let's say we get rid of this and type in 92101, it still finds it. If we get rid of this comma, it still finds it. So that might be a good way to to look for things. If you type in San Diego, California like that, and you press find, what you'll see is it, go, it finds the state of California again. Why did it do that? Because it's interpreting this as the street. And the street, there is no Pacific Highway San Diego street. So it just finds California. So we just have to be skeptical. I wouldn't want us to zoom, to direct somebody to the wrong place because of this kind of thing. So um, what it also does is it also does cross streets. So if you type in, if you do one of the this type of thing, I think we all know where this is. You press find. What it did was it found San Diego, California, because that's what it recognized. I think that this, it's looking for the address here. Hopefully it'll find it. For some reason it finds it when you write Ave, but not when you write Avenue. And it's a little crazy because it's North Harbor Drive and West Grape Street. So I'm not sure why when you type in Avenue it actually finds the right place, but we need to be we need to be uh, skeptical basically of of uh, of it. And if you type if you were to do this kind of thing, nine two one nine two one oh one. There we go. I can type. It's looking for it. It's looking for it, and I think it should find it. Oh, address not found. Oh, no, address found. Yeah, it's right here. So it, it found it there, too. So that's um, that's basically how 
how the the it works. Um, we did want we do want to uh, speed this process up, uh, especially in terms of dispatch. Maybe they could type in something like this: harbor and grape. And if there's only one harbor and grape, it'll find it. It won't find it if you just if you do that, or if you if you like uh, if you do this and get rid of the the street suffix altogether it found California so San Diego California and this is the center of San Diego so you just have to be skeptical but and, but we are working on uh, making it a little a little faster so that we could do something like that or maybe type in something like um, you know 5133 harbor and that'll find it this is this is not going to work but uh, that's the basic uh, situation with um, the find address task my name is Ari Isaac I'm a GIS analyst at the Port of San Diego my phone number is 400 is 619-400-4778 and my at email address is AISAAK at portofsandiego.org please feel free to contact me if you have any questions or concerns about the Port GIS program and um, I'm really excited about it and I hope you are too. All right. There.